What is going on guys? Welcome back. Continuing NASCAR Heat 3 of my career. We've got four races left to the playoffs. We're going to Eldora and this is my thought process. Pocono is coming up. It's a track that I'm usually very good at and I feel like it's going to give me the best opportunity to win. I don't know that we're going to have to put a lot of aero or speed into the short track truck that we have for Eldora. So I actually go out and buy another Speedway truck so that we can almost use this as a bye week. Let my crew work on this Speedway truck now and then come back and let them work on it again and give us kind of two weeks in a row to focus on this one best truck that we're going to have. Take it out to Pocono and really just kind of take a shot in the dark at winning that race. So we're going to head over to La Dura. It's a track that I've done fair at, but I've never ran at in the trucks. I qualify the truck 8th overall with a 20.515, which is actually a little bit slower than I thought I ran in practice. So I will let you guys watch the race and be back to discuss it afterwards. So this really was one of those organic moments that happens in a video game that truly surprises you. I mean, before this race, I had literally packed it in. I put all my eggs into a Pocono basket with no expectations of coming out and performing at all here, much less winning by a second, roughing up Grand Enfigure when I didn't have to in the process, moving up to 15th place in points, and getting my first win in my own equipment. Not only that, now I'm going to go to Pocono with the best equipment I've ever had, all the momentum in the world, and hopefully being able to put together back-to-back -back wins at two totally different tracks. And this really is something that I found this game excels at, is kind of giving you these moments. I mean, I could have wrecked the truck, but at the same time, I didn't, and I ended up having a really good performance with the least prepared truck at a track where, to be honest, the driver means more than anything. So I did expect a bit more of a fan boost afterwards, Ben Kennedy, and again, president of a division, formerly a driver, not the best acting, but they get the job done with these vignettes. And to this point, in my real racing career, I only had problems with one person, 
And it was Mike Harmon. So I've made it a point throughout the rest of my career in this game, anytime Mike Harmon says anything to me, I will do my best to insult him and hope that he runs to his hauler and sends his wife out to deal with me just as he did in real life. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out, and I'll be back in the week with more commentary.